Hey guys, Lawrence here. I just uh, going to go through <clears throat> a little tutorial here on the XES software. I'm going to go through uh, vectors and pictures, and we'll see if I can make sense of this and if it's helpful to anybody. So here we go. All right. What I'm going to do today is I got a file here that I'm going to work with. Uh, this is a picture file, so I'm going to bring it into XES and. We'll scale it here. So <clears throat> this is a picture. Um, I got this picture from uh, <clears throat> someone online wanted me to do a little tutorial on this, so I figured I'd do it for everyone. So this particular picture, I'm going to bring it in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this image. I'm going to take away the background like that, and then uh, we'll save it. So I'm just doing that in the XCS software. So I'm going to move the position of this here down to uh, 1.22 for the X and the Y. I got it at 2.158, and that's just the position on my laser. I'm just going to change the size of this file as well so it can fit on the business card properly. 3.021, and the height of it, I'm going to change it to 1.729. So that would just fit right on the uh, business card. Sorry for the camera work. I'm trying to do this <clears throat> holding it in my hand. So anyways, that's the, uh, that's the design I'm going to use for the picture. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to trace it. And that will make it a vector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Trace Image here. And if I trace that image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the fuzziness. I'm going to turn that up. I'm going to turn the smoothness up and I'm going to turn, you can see this here is going to change. Right now it's not selecting everything uh, if you look in there. So I'm going to change the denoising and as I turn it down you're going to see more of those lines are going to, going to actually uh, be caught. So I'm going to bring that down to zero and that makes my, the lettering down here is very clear. I don't know if you can see it on the camera there. And it looks like it's captured every little letter, all the circles and the O's and the D's. And the G there, and even a little dot over the I is good. So I'm going to save that. So now I drag this up here. So to show the difference between the two, I'm just going to choose this one and I'm going to ignore it for now. And we're going to work with the bottom one here. So on the bottom one here, it's an image. So what happens is I'm going to choose the laser that we're going to use is the infrared. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to choose some of the settings here. So we're going to choose the dot duration at about 220. And let's change the power on the infrared to 50%. That'll be fine. Um, we'll leave it at 500. We can probably go a little bit lower and make the engraving faster. But for now, 500 is good. And we'll change the bitmap mode to, we'll go to Jarvis. All right. So that should work for the image here. So we're going to check the framing now. So I'm going to hit the framing button. I'm just going to check it on the laser. So on the laser it shows that it's going to print out on the card right there. I'm good with that. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to turn this down. So one of the things that I check when I do infrared is I always go into my settings uh, up here on the right and I go to settings and I turn on infrared pr ray preheat. Um, in my basement here, it's a little cooler. I find that the images or anything that I do with infrared is a little bit better if I do that. It warms up the laser before it starts firing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually process this one to give you an idea of what it's like for, for pictures. So with pictures, you're going to have dot duration, uh, you're going to have DPI, and you're going to have power to work with. So we're going to do that. I'm going to process this, send it to the laser, and we'll get that to run. So that took a minute and 49 seconds to complete. The image on here is pretty nice. So looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is to show you the difference, I'm going to put the card here and on the back side I'll do the, the vector. So <clears throat> we're going to do the 
For the same thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to ignore it now. I'm going to ignore it. Sorry about the camera. We're going to take this one and I'm going to put in the exact same settings for the position 1.22 and I'm going to go to the Y is going to be 2.158 and this one here we're going to set the same size etc so it's the same and this one here we're going to change it to now <clears throat> I just I got these numbers before I did the video only because it makes it easier to line it up etc on the card so that should be lined up exactly where I need it now I could score this and it will kind of just do the outline but we want it to look like this one over here so I'm going to engrave and that darkens up the design so uh, that's what we're going to do we're going to choose the infrared now if, because this is a vector now because I trace the image you're going to have <clears throat> different settings over here so for power um, it's going to be faster so I'm going to choose a higher power I'm going to go to 100 I'm going to change the speed of this to let's say 3,000 millimeters per second is really fast and I'm going to change it to about uh, 220 lines per minute I could go to 300 maybe but for now I'll just leave it at 220 that should be good enough and um, let's just check the framing here all right so it's going to check the framing oops it's not framing because I forgot to I forgot to uh, output this so now if I choose framing that should work there we go so now if we look it's going to be exactly the same as the other one because I'm using my jig so I'm going to close down the cover and what we'll do is we'll send this design to the <clears throat> to the laser and we'll see how long this one takes. There we go. Okay, so done. And that took 33 seconds. So let's like take a look at the quality of this. When you bring it up here, there it is. It's pretty good. Now, I can put this back in here, because it's in the jig it should still work. Let's, uh, let's run it again. Alright. Not bad. So, those are the two ways you can do things. So you can see the vector is much faster. I mean, I ran a second second pass because, because of the speed I had it set at, it didn't look as good as it could have. Um, even if I slowed that down to to 1,000 or 2,000, your vector is going to engrave much faster than an image. So, hopefully that's been helpful. Um, I want to thank you for watching, and uh, if you can like and subscribe, that would be great. Thanks.